please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hi everyone, this post will be the final of five posts. I'm going to make her feather fascinator and evening necklace. See the related articles, our playlist to find our other related posts and videos. Please feel free to follow the design or do your own. I'll use any material which you already have to handcraft on it. Here are the tools and materials that I will use in this tutorial. For more details, please get the link below and visit 3howto.com. Take your paper dowel to draw an outline of the top of her head on a piece of paper. Also draw two rectangular strips on both sides for being attached to her. After that, draw an arc at the end of this one-third circle which you drew her top head. After that, blend the watercolor to a similar color as the feather which you are going to use for her hat. Then paint the color on the paper patch. You don't have to be too detailed. Just paint on the color. After that, trim the patch out from the paper. Once the patch is done, get the paper dowel and try it on her. Check the patch has covered her head well and matches your design. Alright, I'm going to decorate the edge of her head with some blue circle sequins. Put some glue and place the sequins on it. I'm keeping about the radius of the sequins as the spacing. The names of the parts of the feather will be called as below. I'm going to take five steps to design her feather fascinators like this picture. Let me display the details to you. 1. Find the best dot patterns feather to be the main spindle on her head. 2. Get an after feathers piece that is a sparse shape to be able to cover a little bit of her face. 3. Choose one or two small circle after feathers to place on the third layer. If you can find some different blue colors feathers, that would be good. 4. Add a tiny good looking dot pattern feather and point it to the opposite side then the main spindle is directed. 5. In the end, get two light blue sequins with diamond shape to place at the fork's center. In order to make it look more interesting, I am going to insert some light blue long and sparse feathers behind the tiny dot pattern feather. Once the design has been done, I'm going to glue the after feather from step 2. Also, get the scissors to trim the long sparse feather from her face side shorter. It's better to take your paper towel to try it on while you are trimming the lengths of the feather. Make the lengths until her cheeks. After that, I'm going to glue the main spindle. Put the glue at the end of the main feather and stick it at the left end of her head. Then glue three pieces from step three, dark blue, blue, and light blue feathers. After that, glue the tiny dot pattern feather from step four. Unfortunately, I have made a little bit of glue go on the wrong spot. I'm going to use clear water to brush it away gently. And clean my brush with tissue paper to wipe away that glue. In the end, trim the diamond shaped sequins well if they are not on the right shapes. After that, stick them on the focus center of her head. Once it's done, take your paper dowel and try it on her. Check the head looks good with her head and matches your design. Take your paper dowel to draw her neck with on a piece of paper. At the same time, 
draw two rectangular strips on both sides for being attached to her. After that, draw the first and the second rings to be bent on her center line in perspective. Finally, draw the third ring to make sure the correct curve with the first and the second rings. Paint black color on the paper patch, as I'm going to design a black glitter necklace for her. Please feel free to use any color to match your design. After that, trim the patch out from the paper. For the area between the rings, it's optional to use the standing knife and cutting mat to make a hole first. Then it may be easy to cut this area off. Once you cut it out, there are still some white edges on the paper patch. Therefore, I'm going to paint black on it again. Take your paper towel and try it on her. Review the patch has no white edges, and the curves of the three rings are at her center line in perspective. One, put the glue well on the necklace patch. Two, place the necklace patch on a piece of paper. Three, sprinkle the glitter on the patch evenly. Four, fold the paper in half. And press the area with the patch under. Five. Open the paper. Then take your tweezers to clean out the excess of the glitter from the back side of the patch. Six. Clean edges of the patch too. Seven. Finally, take the piece of paper and return the rest of the glitter back to the jar. Try the necklace on her and check it looks good as your design. This step is the easiest one. First, put some glue at the top of her front shoes. Then, get a small blue gem to place at the center top of each shoe. After that, take two transparent gems to place at both sides of the blue one. Adjust a little bit of a curve around her shoe edge. For the side view of the shoe, glue one transparent gem only. Here we go. She has her fantastic feather fascinator and a three-day evening necklace. I'm here to offer you some idea to design your paper towel party hat and necklace. Please feel free to use your creativity to make her fashion dress and the accessories look brilliant. Here I'm showing you what I have done. You can get the link below to send me your artwork. I'm keen to see your great drawings and paintings. Also, if you give me your permission, I hope I'm able to share your artwork with other people on 3howto.com. Let's learn drawing from each other. Thank you so much for checking out this course. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I will share more interesting DIY courses with you. Please subscribe if you like this content. See you soon next time.